Hey, how's everybody doing today? Uh, I was asked to do a walk around of the old 400. So let me try to get it, get it in the screen here. Uh, it's a 1955 model. I bought it roughly 25 years ago. Uh, bought it from its second owner. Um, it uh, has been overhauled. It has a 450 kit, what they call the 450 kit, so it's a 281 cubic inch with pop-up pistons. But what brand, I don't know. It had a clutch and a torque put in it. Uh, the original owner of this tractor, uh, some friends of mine worked for him, and they said after they overhauled this tractor, they had they bought a two-row head for an old 717 New Holland chopper, and they pulled a two-row head with it. So they were down in low gear, but the torque pulled sometimes, but it took it, and I can tell you, this thing's pretty stout for what it is. The second owner bought it in, uh, I think, the 70s, not sure when, and put a corn picker on it. And it was their picker tractor. They had enough tractors that uh, they never took the picker off of it until I bought it. I bought it without the picker. Um, so I added the uh, gearbox for the belt pulley. It didn't have that. And I have the pulley. I just took it off. Uh, I used to take it to the uh, my local gas engine show and run the sawmill with it. I uh, don't have any video of that. But uh, anyway, uh, I don't know if you can... See if I can get it here. Uh, where is it at? Up in here, I converted it to 12 volts. Put a 12 volt alternator on it. That was one of the best things I ever did. This thing was a bear to get started when it was six volts. It had a 1200 cold cranking amp battery and it would barely take it, it would barely turn it over. So, and then uh, I bought it in the 90s, um, middle 90s. And I had it for uh, almost 10 years. I had it for a loader on loader on it for a while. And then when I built my new garage, uh, I uh, tore it apart and uh, restored it. Fixed all the oil leaks in it. Um, and then, then I painted it. It took me two years to complete this thing, painting it. And I quit counting after 250 hours. But anything that could be unbolted was unbolted. I mean, if you take the hoods off, they're all painted on the other side. The gas tank's painted. I had the dash out of it. Fenders off of it. It's got fast hitch. I took the fast hitch. The seat, I took all apart and painted everything. So, uh, so now it, uh, and now since I got back into farming, it just became, uh, I use it for tatting and raking hay. Occasionally I put the, uh, the uh, eight foot uh, bush hog on it. Um, but it gets a little thirsty when you put the bush hog on it. So, but uh, I like the old tractor. It's actually my favorite tractor. So... It didn't kick off like that when it was six volts. So, and I put, wheel weights didn't come with it. I put them on it. So, uh, one of these days it's gonna need a new set of tires. But other than that, the uh, whole thing runs good. Sounds good. Pulls like you wouldn't believe, so. All right, so there's a walk around of the Old Farm All 400. Any questions, leave them in the comments, and uh, y'all have a good day. Bye.